Hey everybody, welcome back. It is time for another EDC update. And in this EDC, I've been rocking pocket watches, uh, fountain pens, and going all that hipster crazy stuff but uh, just before um, EDC update uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Fatman and he reached 2,000 subscribers and he's celebrating and he's doing giveaways so you can win some crazy wicked blades guys so uh, not just one not just two but bunch of them you can win and there's a lot of prizes in this giveaway so uh, I will put a link in the description box down below uh, so you can check him out and learn how to win all those cool blades it's for free guys and uh, subscribe to him because I've been one of his early subscribers and uh, I gotta tell you I'm really glad and happy uh, to be his subscriber to I was able to meet him and he is one of the reason uh, why I love doing YouTube videos uh, and stuff not just because I like watches and knives and gears and hobby uh, and I like making videos too but I'm glad really glad there are certain amount of people I met out here that I'm to I'm very proud to be able to call my friends and the fat man is certainly one of those and you won't be sorry that uh, you will if you check him out and uh, you can win some wicked blades I won some wicked I want some wicked blades from his go away so I don't see why you cannot so check the link in the description box and stick around for another EDC update on EDC color and if you like EDC stuff make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel hey everybody welcome back so we have EDC update and this bunch of trash here as my was my EDC rotation so um, what I've been rotating in my EDC all of this time and uh, first of course inevitable phone I uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory and I also use it to film some sort of a uh, vlogs when I'm walking and just some random videos even though I, I prefer filming it on camera dedicated camera so a uh, phone uh, uh, other things I have here I have a bunch of here a bunch of little trash <laughs> so I'm gonna just try to move this all away and uh, do see what I can do so wallet uh, I have this really fat wallet but I can't help it. I have a card holder. Sometimes I will carry a bunch of cash uh, outside with an card holder, but uh, it's not really practical for me. And I tear the money. And so uh, the best I have I use for this weather wallet by fault. Weather wallet. It's Roncato, made by Italy. It was a gift from my girlfriend. So I have a wallet right over here. And um, phone so these are those two are boring things uh, some other things I have uh, which I added as a little bit quieter because I like having like having fire with me and it's autumn now I have a jacket so I can toss more gear into my jacket and also I'm planning to make a little one of those little pouches for EDC uh, and to, to stuff it to put in my bag uh, when I'm carrying my bag uh, which I don't carry every day but uh, I just want to have it there and I saw a shiny knife video so I want to do it myself so uh, stick around for that video in the future um, so yeah I have a little bit quieter uh, sometimes uh, I will carry uh, this little MCO wire it's, this one is really cool but uh, it's well on fuel but it's so much better than Zippo because I'm like three weeks ago I put a fuel in it and it still runs which is not the case with Zippo so Imco Triplex Austrian 
Imco, this is Imco Junior. Uh, definitely recommended for a great gas lighter. If not that, then Zippo is your next best choice uh, and big lighter as well. Uh, always have some sort of bubble gums uh, or mints to keep my breath fresh. So always recommend it. And I I have bubble gums because uh, these are recommended from dentists so they can uh, clean up your teeth much better than uh, after meals than the, than the regular mints. Um, another cool thing I have here is a pocket watch uh, and this is a this is Russian Monia and I just did a video about it uh, the other day uh, if you if you like pocket watches and if you think it's cool uh, if you want to start carrying one well this is the best pocket watch you can get for around and this will cost you around 20 30 40 bucks on uh, this ex exact type and there are other types of ammonia watches with the uh, with the, which, which are not open face, they have a protection so you can open them but I like this one, this is very thin, it can slide into jeans pocket and I do carry it, uh, some people are gonna say yeah you don't wear a the waistcoat, uh, you cannot wear a pocket valve, uh, pocket watches are older than waistcoats so uh, jeans uh, pocket watch that fifth pocket will do just fine and these are Russian watches this is Monia and when something is made in Russia Russian and it's uh, it's made to be reliable affordable so everyone can buy it it's made uh, reliable with uh, not so many pieces so uh, it won't break as often and uh, just like AK so I like to compare it if you know about it and let me just show you the moment inside because this is why I like watches uh, yeah it's completely mechanical so there's an option you can buy a, a Chinese cheap quartz watch or you can buy this and this is so much better option of course some of the best pocket watches are expensive but for EDC for everyday bumping around I don't see much better option than Monia watches Russian Monia watches and they are no longer in production but eBay is flooded with them so definitely cool and I love the style of the numerals on this one and small seconds and it has a blue hands it's so cool and it's just too cool for school and uh, I, I keep wearing this in my jeans and I also wear gonna wear a waistcoat but I'm not gonna wear a triple uh, three piece suit I'm just rock a waistcoat with jeans also so uh, really really digging this and been carrying this around for this past month so another watch uh, that I've been uh, wearing exclusively for this past time since my last update is my Oris Artelier uh, this is a very nice versatile watch you can wear this with jeans and t-shirts and also it can be dressy you can wear it with suits and in all sorts of occasion I think it's very versatile and you can put it on a black band I keep it like this uh, if you are a fan of walking dead and who is not uh, then this can remind me of a Rick Grimes watch even though his is Kenneth Cole but this one so much cooler and nicer and you gotta admit uh, it does look like Rick Grimes watch on walking that so tell me what do you think guys it's a zombie killer watch or what write down in the comment section what do you think does this look like a Rick Grimes watch and of course knives I've been having this in my pockets this is the larger, largest blade I had in my pockets for the past month because I work in school now and um, you cannot carry weights even though I conceal it uh, but this is non-threatening and very classic 
uh, also I have uh, my Victorinox Cadet uh, this is a no-brainer it's very thin and I think everyone should have one in his pocket and I think it's a awesome combo with my watch here so and even the red details here you see it with a red rotor and this so I think this is just awesome combo uh, when I'm not having this one or this one I have a Spyderco Cricket and this is also one of the great small little blades that are non-threatening to people they they will think it's rather cute but it's very capable knife uh, it will cut open and it will destroy any box you throw at it because of this leaf blade shape here and this little here tooth it's very nice VG10 steel just great and this is also a gift from my mate knife tech so check out knife techs uh, regarding uh, other stuff uh, I really like EDC videos and I always try to keep them short but I just like talking about it and stuff uh, regarding other knives uh, been, I will wear this on the weekends and uh, on the nights and the evenings because it's just too cool and has a bucket clip and I, when I'm out and about with people I just unclip it and slide it in my pocket so I use the lanyard but um, it's not the best knife of the bunch here but so much cool because I don't know spider co has that cool factor like non fancy I like say second kind of cool so you just gotta have one spider co um, uh, also I've been having this little uh, in my back pocket on my pants or my jacket I'm having this little notebook and this is a, was a gift from my girlfriend she knows I like this kind of stuff and uh, it's a cheap old notebook but I really like it. it even has a little pen here which I don't use because I have it but uh, it doesn't hurt I like this one because it has this um, nylon uh, here around it so uh, it really nicely slides in and out from the pockets and also it won't tear up like the other um, other notebooks I have and I really I, I use this stuff because every other day someone wants to write something I want to write something and I don't have to write it on so I just take paper here also uh, if I have some cool video idea or something to calculate I will do it on this so I really like it and in my pockets I have uh, this little thin, very thin uh, ballpoint pen and I call in this my EDC because uh, what my true EDC is what you can find in my pockets and that's how I rank EDC uh, however uh, sometimes you can find in my pockets when I'm wearing a jacket or uh, blazer or stuff like that I have this here little box and this will also go uh, in my bag uh, but uh, I have some items here that I use all the time and um, I will when I'm not having this uh, well this one will also usually be in my jeans pocket because sort of thin but when I'm wearing blazer I have this very very cool rotting uh, Roller ball pan and these are just uh, very nice uh, very good quality uh, this will cost you around 20 25 bucks on Amazon I will try to put a links for all this gear in the description box so check it out but I definitely recommend this is a German product and it's very very nice and I think everyone should have at least half of these pan and most of you choose Parker Jodder or something but I like German stuff and has a nice weight to it but it's also easy to write and uh, just has that positive firm snap so also it's made of metal so it can be used as a makeshift uh, weapon or tactical pan so it can make some damage so uh, these two pants are my EDC stuff 
and this one really goes nice with uh, all this stuff but uh, just the other day I got a cool fountain pen um, it's a, this is a Jinhao fountain pen it's Chinese but I was positively surprised because this is just like those Chinese Ganzo N1 on Sun Remu knives it's really it's cheap it's a five dollar fountain pen but it's really heavy it's made of metal and you wouldn't say it's a uh, five dollar um, fountain pen and cooks awesome it looks fantastic writes really smooth and it's really really great fountain pen I ordered another one as soon as I got this one and saw how nice it is um, so yeah uh, that's it uh, thank you all for watching and I'm EDC Gunner uh, thank you for watching my videos and thank you for liking thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing to my channel and see you in the next one